Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash, those being the true names of the Heavenly Father and His beloved only begotten Son. The name Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father in the ancient Hebrew, and the name Yahweh Shai is the beloved only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father. I also want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing and many salutations unto you elect across the four ones of this earth, fulfilling your lots in all truth and all sincerity. I'm the priest Sha'ar from the Great Millstone Dallas branch, and I'm coming to you all with another lesson through the Holy Spirit. And Lord's willing, this lesson here will be edifying unto the flock. And um, this lesson here is namely not going to be a lesson necessarily, but this is more so going to be a testimony on a vision that I woke up to this morning. And I um, really didn't even get too much sleep last night. I get off work pretty late. So I go to work. I'm sorry, I go to sleep late. But usually I sleep in till about 11, even maybe 12 o'clock. But um, after I had that vision, I woke up and it was uh, it was about nine. So it wasn't early. But it was earlier than I get up, you know, so I'm only running on a, a few hours of sleep. But um, I say all that to say, through the spirit of the Lord, that vision had me up and amped up. And after I had the vision, I pondered it in my mind whether I should put it on wax then in that moment. But the spirit told me to hold off. I even reached out to a few brothers just to share the testimony to them. I'm not going to say who it is, who it is. It doesn't, you know, I'm, I'm just, I sent it to a handful of brothers and one brother in particular, I said, um, man, I don't, I want to do a lesson on this, but I don't think it's the right time right now. Ultimately, I'm going to wait on the spirit. And that's, it wasn't verbatim like that. It was, it was along those grounds, you know, and the brother responded like, yeah, if it was me, I'd hold off just for right now. Ultimately, until the spirit reveals on when when I should do this lesson again, this was just this morning and you see me doing a lesson now because it was the spirit that uh, is driving me to do this. And there's confirmation after communicating with um, with uh, another brother afterward, um, you know, the head of our camp. So I had a dream and in the dream there was a, a lump sum of us at the Apostle Tahar's house. And I said house because it wasn't the um, it wasn't the normal spot. That you all have seen in the videos with the remember the old videos where there was the end of the world picture in the background and such. It wasn't that place. This was actually a house with multiple bedrooms. It was a nice size house, probably had about four or five bedrooms in it. It was very nice. And again, there was a handful of us that was there, different apostles, different elders, different brothers. It wasn't a whole lot, but it was a it was a handful. Certain faces were recognizable. Certain faces were not recognizable. There was one brother in particular that was an apostle that um, I didn't recognize him, but he was an apostle in the dream. He, he looked like um, John Amos from Good Times. You know, for those of you that seen Good Times or coming to America, you know, get out of here for our, for our break that camera. We're talking about him. OK, I believe his name is John. A I believe that's John Amos. But um, it was him and he was an apostle in that dream. So um, just continuing on, one scene of the dream, uh, a handful of us are in the garage and there's a, a truck backing into the garage. It wasn't a semi truck, but it was one of those cargo carrying trucks, like a little truck that carries cargo. And it was reversing into the garage like it was getting ready to um, unload some cargo. So I was the closest one to the truck. I was um, standing right there. So um, as the truck was backing up, there was a thought that was in my mind that was like, yo, I got a feeling high priest Ariaz in the back of this truck. So as it was reversing in, you know, um, the spirit had it where, you know, the door was opened up because, again, it was like cargo being released. So um, I opened the door and as I opened it up, there was like another door that was in there that kind of had somebody barricaded on the inside. So I unlatched everything. And as I'm unlatching it, there's just a pressure like not pressure, but more so in anticipation, like uh, you're getting ready to um, unwrap a present, you know, for those of you all that can 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 think of it that way. It was like a present being unwrapped, like the anticipation on 
what is in the back of this truck or who was in the back of this truck. So as I opened the door, high priest Arya was in the truck. He had on a red garment and he had on a hood over his head. So it was like, oh, snaps. Yo, this is a, this is a high priest Arya. So he started walking toward the truck to get out the truck. And before he got out the truck, he took his hood off. I'm thinking he's going to be older and everything because he's a he's an older man, especially today. He's older. But when he took his hood off, man, I kid you not. He looked young, full of youth. It didn't like it's not like he looked young in his 30s or his 40s, but he looked like he was around the age, maybe even a little younger than than he was when he was teaching the apostles. He looked maybe even fairly a little younger than that. He didn't have the long hair. He had the he had a little fro in his head. You know, like how Apostle Har has that little fro. It was real similar to a little fro, but it was High Priest Arya for sure. And his eyes, <laughs> his eyes were blue. But they weren't blue like nor a normal person you'll see with blue eyes. Mm -mm. Some of y'all might know what I mean as I explain. Um, If y'all see a picture of some of those kids in those third world countries in Africa or in New Zealand, they, um, they have those really bright blue eyes that have the reflection that it's like a very distinct blue to the point where it kind of looks like when i'm talking about these third world kids like it's a mutation or something like that you know but that's the look that high priest rei had they were really bright and blue you know and again it was a very um heavy feeling that was coming up the anticipation was there and also too it's like yo this is a this is a high ranking man in the spirit. I don't know if he's going to come out of there and just, you know, not, you know, start rebuking or whatever. We don't know. So all these thoughts are running through my mind during the dream. And as he takes that hood off and he looks, he was cool as hell. When I say he was cool as hell, he was I'm not just saying he was just a nice guy, but, you know, he was cool. You know, like, hey, how you brothers doing? Shalom. Yeah, how about Shimya Hawashai brought a thumb to you, brothers? How you brothers doing? It was he was he was happy. He was happy, he was glad, and he got helped down from the truck. So um me and my brother walked him in the backyard, and he sat down on this chair that's in Apostle Tahar's backyard. And it wasn't like no regular just kitchen chair. It was like kind of like a judgment seat to a degree. You know, like somebody, a seat. That somebody with authority would sit on It was like one of those seats You know And um, he's having a conversation with uh, Apostle Tahar And he's mentioning uh, me and my brother Because we were right there And he had, he was like I'm so how, how are these brothers Who are these brothers You know they was all oh, there in the Dallas camp And he was like okay you know, how, What's up with the Dallas camp They doing alright And then the dream of Apostle Tahar was like Yeah you know they're, they're, they're good He was like they're good they're doing what they're supposed to be doing through the spirit right now. And he was like, good, good. And he started inquiring just in general. Pretty much all in all, it was pretty much like he was in the spirit of let's get down to business. Like, like it's bit like business. Started inquiring about the camps, asking questions, what was going on. Like, like he ain't skipped a beat. He was inquiring like he was one of the one of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. You know, so it was a very heavy dream and I, I woke up to it. There's a few more scenes in the dream, but I'm going to just leave it at that. And I'm not going to decipher it. I'm not going to break it down because through the spirit, receive it how you receive it. <laughs> you know, you got a lot of individuals when the rumor was spread around that we thought the high priest Ariat passed away and you had certain individuals that went on camera, started scoffing, started talking all manner of evil and say this <laughs> better watch what you say what comes to mind is um something the apostles mentioned often and even the apostle gabar did a lesson on it um the day i think it was that sunday after we found out the news of high priest aria but um after all these guys was talking junk about high priest aria the Apostle Gabar brought up that example of what happened in the old school when another guy was talking to mess about High Priest Arya. And King Marshal made mention, you better stop talking shit about um, Arya. He was like, you need better read the third chapter. You know, 
Hey, this is a heavy man in the spirit. I haven't met him. I don't know him, obviously, you know, but this is a high ranking man in the spirit, you know, and that dream, that dream was very heavy. OK, and that dream, I wanted to put it on wax when I woke up, but the spirit told me to fall back until a few hours later, the apostle to hard did a live show. Confirming that high priest Arya is very well alive. The same day. And when I saw that video, I was like, whoa, it felt like I seen a fleet of chariots. Because earlier this morning, had a dream that he was alive. Oh, I meant to bring this up, too. In the dream, we already had knowledge he was dead. We already had knowledge that he was dead. So when that truck backed in and he was in there, it was a shocker. Like, oh, snap, he's alive. I meant to bring that part out, too. And again, Apostle Tahar did that video earlier today. He did that video earlier today confirming that High Priest Ari is alive. You know, so I'm going to bring out a few precepts. Hopefully this is edifying. But hey, man, that that that's a man of the Lord. I'm going to just say that. This is the book of Job, chapter 33, verse 15. And it says in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men and slumber is upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction. That he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. So ultimately, when you go into this verse here, it goes into how the Lord will speak to you in a dream. Certain dreams are just dreams, but there's dreams that are visions. And I believe wholeheartedly that this was a vision that was sent from the Lord. And immediately when I woke up, Zechariah, the third chapter came in mind. And he had on a garment. He had on a legit garment and that clean garment came to mind. And he was in a right state of mind, wanted to get right down to business. Right when he sat down on that chair, he started inquiring on brothers, inquiring on camps, asking questions about this brother, asking questions about that, or asking questions about this camp, I'd rather say, asking questions about that camp. You know, it was very heavy. And when again, when he got off the back of that truck, he was, man, he was he had such a delightful spirit. You know, now, again, I don't know the man. I've never met the man before. This is coming from somebody who's never met the man. But his spirit was very delightful and very pleasant to be around. But at the same time, very intense because you could feel the intense spirit on him. You know, you could feel it just like when you meet an apostle, when you come into the to the uh, in the vicinity or the area of an apostle, when you talk to them or an elder, that spirit that's there where, you know, this is a. This is a, a, a man the Lord is dealing with. You felt that. I felt that in that dream when I helped him get down from the back of that truck. I felt that, you know, but Zechariah, the third chapter comes to mind. It came to mind, you know, and however you perceive it through the spirit, you know, is just however, however it's perceived, you know, I can only say what I dreamed about. And I believe wholeheartedly that that man I'm sorry, at the Lord, Ooh, that too, that man is a man of the Lord, but also too, that the Lord sent this down as a vision, you know, and it was very spiritual. And I know I said it a few times, but I'm going to say it again. Again, I've been excited all day about it. But when the Apostle Har did that live show earlier today, it was like that was the spiritual confirmation that I was waiting for. When I told the brother and when I mentioned to the brother, when we talked and said, let's just wait on the spirit and see what the spirit says, because I had it in my mind. I might not even do a lesson on it. If the spirit don't permit it, I'm not going to do it. But Apostle Hart did that live show with that confirmation. So that was like the spirit, like, boom, go ahead. And I even asked the head of our camp just to confirm if it's OK. And he gave the green light, you know. So, hey, amen. We're in very interesting times. I'm very interested to see how this plays out here within the very near future. OK, hey, it's the spirit. Why? These men are in the spirit that they're in right now. The Apostle Rakawa, he was down here amongst us in Dallas and he constantly talked about the old school, constantly talked about their elders, constantly, constantly. So it's like, OK, the spirit is speaking. The spirit is about to do something, you know. So I'm going to end it off on there. Hopefully this was edifying. 
I want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing and many salutations unto you elect across the four winds of this earth, fulfilling your lots in all truth and all sincerity. Shalom.